solve 9 raised to n minus minus 9 raised to n uh, minus 6 times 3 raised to n minus 27 is equal to 0 and explain why it has only one real solution. So they've, they've given you a hint that 3 raised to n to let us a, let us x. So so how do we do this? So okay so let's say so can we write 9 raised to n uh, 9 raised to n can you understand is same as 3 squared raised to n that is same as 3 raised to n squared and 3 raised to n we can let as x so this whole thing can be let as x squared ok so this is a technique to see 9 as 3 squared and then to see 3 squared raised to n can be written as 3 raised to n raised to squared. Okay, so this whole expression changes to x squared minus 6x minus 27 is equal to 0. So now the two factors of twin minus 27 which gives you minus 6 are minus 9 and plus 3. So x minus 9 times x plus 3 is equal to 0. So well we can say x is equal to 9 or x is equal to negative 3. Now what is x? Well we know x is 3 raised to n so we can say 3 raised to 3 raised to n is equal to 9 so we can say 3 raised to n is 3 squared that means n is equal to 2. Comparing both sides, the bases are same, so you can compare the indices. Now here when we come here, this is where you have to stop and think. What are we saying? 3 raised to n is negative 3. So, if you raise any number by a number, this is never going to be negative. So you should understand graphically 3 raised to, if you draw the graph of 3 raised to x or 3 raised to n, the graph is going to go like this. So this is the graph of y is equal to 3 raised to n or 3 raised to x. So this is, this is not, you can never solve this or we can say there is no solution in this equation. So that's why you have got only one solution. Though there are two values of x, there is only one solution in this case.